Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl Butler, and you're listening to the Mighty Mommy's Quick and Dirty Tips podcast, which will help make your life as a parent a little bit easier and a lot more fun. Welcome! Today's episode is number 362, How to Care for Your Baby in the Winter. Having a newborn during any season can cause anxiety, especially for first-time parents that don't know what to expect in those first few months. But the challenges that come along with the long, freezing days of winter, such as fighting off the cold and flu season, in addition to staying warm and cozy, can make families even more tense. Mighty Mommy has some common sense tips on how to best care for your baby during the winter months and how to protect him from seasonal illnesses. Tip number one, wash your hands. The best proactive winter tip for infants, as well as the rest of your family, is simple. Become religious about washing your hands throughout the day and don't rush the process. The experts say at least 20 seconds is the appropriate amount of time. So sing happy birthday twice or recite the alphabet to make sure you're meeting that requirement. It may seem like a no-brainer, but it's also easy to get distracted and only wash your hands, say, after you use the bathroom. There are dozens of other times throughout the day that you should also take advantage of ridding your hands of germs. Touching restaurant menus, shopping cart handles, elevator buttons, and even using ketchup in mustard dispensers and bottles. If you can't get to a sink with soap and water, stock up on travel-sized hand sanitizer. Tip number two, put your baby's health before others. One of my eight kids was born in February, right before Valentine's Day. Although he was our fifth child, friends and family were still eager to come pay a visit. He weighed nearly 11 pounds at birth, quite a chubby sight to behold. I loved the attention our new guy was getting, but within the first couple of days, many of our well-wishers had noticeable runny noses, hacking coughs, and heaven knows what other germs. As lovely as it is to have others want to welcome your new bundle into the family or neighborhood, don't be afraid to ask people who are fighting colds and other winter illnesses to please not visit until they're well. And also, don't be shy about asking visitors to wash their hands before holding your new baby. Tip number three, dressing in layers. The general rule of thumb when it comes to dressing newborns is that they need one layer more than you're wearing yourself. So, if you're wearing a hat and a coat, they should be wearing that plus a blanket wrapped around them. While we can pretty much gauge their comfort level using ours, babies' bodies can't regulate heat the way adults do, so they need a little extra warmth. If you're swaddling your baby, count the swaddle or wrap as one layer of clothing. When taking your baby out, he or she will also not forget. When taking your baby out, he or she will also need hat and mittens. And you can use long-sleeved inners or onesies under the long-sleeved baby suit. Remember that your baby's skin is more sensitive than yours, so be careful with itchy wool products. Natural fibers are best, and they breathe much better. As much as you want your precious baby to stay warm and cozy, be careful not to overbundle. So when inside, babies are most comfortable and safe as sleeping in temperatures between 61 and 67 degrees. All they need on the top of a pajama is a sleeper blanket to be comfortable, not layers of clothing, and definitely not loose blankets. Tip number four, give your baby massages. One of my favorite newborn tips that I received years ago was to give my babies regular massages. Massages, especially in the winter months, They're going to help improve the blood flow, and they could increase your baby's immunity levels. You can use olive oil, almond oil, or coconut oil to massage your baby. Make sure you close the door and keep the room warm when you're massaging him. You can give your newborn a nice massage an hour or two before bath time. Alternatively, you can massage your baby before bedtime to help him calm down and sleep better. You know, my kids still love back rubs, especially when they aren't feeling well. And I'd love to think some of that comes from those newborn massage days. Tip number five, get fresh air. When we're cooped up during the colder months, sometimes we forget how important getting outside and breathing in fresh air can be. Obviously, we don't want our newborns out in dangerous temps, but when possible, bundle him up and take a quick stroll around the neighborhood, 
just to breathe in crisp, fresh air. Tip number six, keep your baby's skin moisturized and protected. Another of my favorite winter newborn tips is keeping her skin nice and moisturized. You can check with your pediatrician for any special recommendations, but regularly apply a nice creamy lotion to your baby's skin. And don't forget her lips. Baby's lips are always wet thanks to drooling, lip licking, and runny noses. And that moisture can break down the protective top layer of skin. So just apply a thin layer of petroleum jelly or lip balm to create a barrier against the elements and to moisturize already chapped lips. And don't forget to use sunscreen in the winter. UV rays are still strong. Tip number seven, carry a pen with you. (laughs) Don't laugh now. Remember my previous tip about hand washing? Another way to avoid unnecessary germs is by carrying your own pen. This way, you can avoid having to use the pen that everybody else has been touching at the bank, the pharmacy, and the store to sign credits, card receipts, thereby avoiding getting the germs of a hundred different strangers on your fingers that are about to touch your sweet, innocent baby. And that brings me to tip number eight. Take good care of yourself. Honestly, one of the best ways to keep your newborn healthy is to keep yourself healthy, as there really is no way to avoid close contact when you're the primary caregiver. Getting plenty of rest really helps your immune system, but that's not going to happen with a newborn, so you're going to have to amp your efforts up in other areas, including drinking plenty of water, taking vitamins, and eating a very well-balanced and healthy diet. And don't forget to take timeouts like reading quietly. I know, hard with the newborn and kids, but even if it's a 10-minute power nap to clear your mind, and getting 20 minutes of exercise, such as a brisk walk around the neighborhood, and making time to connect with your spouse and your other children if you have them, that can keep your mind, body, and spirit at their best. How are you preparing for your baby's winter? Share your thoughts in the comments section at quickanddirtytips.com slash mighty-mommy. And you can also post your ideas on the Mighty Mommy Facebook page or email me at mommy at quickanddirtytips.com and I hope you'll visit my family-friendly boards at pinterest.com slash mightymommyqdt and be sure to sign up for the upcoming Mighty Mommy newsletter chock full of practical advice to make your parenting life easier and more enjoyable. Enjoy your precious baby and your children. Thanks for listening and until next time, happy parenting. Happy parenting.